in the game. Move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to World Football League football here in Oklahoma City. Today's game between the Condors and the Bisons. Now the Condors are three and one. Off to a good start. They blew out Chicago last week. But for Oklahoma City, it's the opposite for them. So they got their... They are in 16th now as of 9.30 a.m. this morning since Dublin won by 6 to get out of, to get out of the basement. So OKC, negative 33 point differential. If they get a point, they need to win by two to get out and have Tor and put Toronto into the bottom. Even though they, I believe Oklahoma City beat Toronto on the road earlier this year. So the players are set and getting ready. Let's see. And as we take a look at the standings, the Condors are actually three and one and the Bisons are two and four. The extra win is because they got those on on their buys. There is head coach William Lavelle ready to get his guys going. Oklahoma City a good team on paper but bad team on the field. So we are ready to go here from OKC and the kick is off and this won't be returned from their own five going to be taken out past the 20 and down to the 21 yard line and now we will take a look at the starting quarterback for the Bisons that is Daniel Newell who is a superstar x-factor QB and he can be good at some moments other times he can he he's not that good First down OKC at their own 21. They're going to get it to Buckley on their first play. He goes outside and makes it up to the 29. Taking a look at KC Buckley last week against who they play last week. I got their schedule right here. They hosted Memphis last weekend. He had, you saw the stats up on your screen. He had a good game. They're going to give it to Buckley again on second and down. He pushes through and just short of the first down, I think. So now we'll take a look at the Bison's offense. Highlighted by KC Buckley, the tight end. Also, Jonathan Beasler could be a good receiver. So the Bison's come up for third and one at their, from their own 30. They're going to throw it short over the middle, complete to the tight end, Nick Ramirez. First throw by Newell is a four-yard completion to, to Ramirez, and it'll be a first down, Bisons. So we'll get a look at the replay again. That was a nice job to dump it off. And the tackle credit to Claiborne. First down and 10 OKC from their own 34 yard line. Here's Newell. Throwing it left side and that is completes to Jonathan Beasler to the 44. Not quite enough for the first down. He's just short. It'll be second in inches. Here's Newell looking to throw. Throwing right side completes to Nick Ramirez. First down for OKC from their own 45. They're going to throw a screen, a receiver screen out to Hanks, and he lost a yard on that one. Play was credited to number 28, John Beck, for the tackle to 
the tackle for loss. Second and 11 for OKC from their own 44. Newell takes a snap, tries to set up a screen of Buckley, and he will not go anywhere. And they'll, they'll lose another yard again, and 30th tackle of the season for, for Elijah Claiborne, the middle linebacker there on the stop. On third down, I think they should go for a play action. Third down and 12 for OKC. Newell takes the snap rolling. Now he's gonna throw it left side and that is complete to, to Jonathan Beasler up to the 32 and that's a first down for OKC. First down to 10 for OKC for the 32, and we are gonna have our first probably marker. Let's hear from the rest. So a procedure on against Blair Robertson. So I'll be first and 15. First down 15 for OKC. We're gonna play fake to Buckley. Newell's gonna throw it to Buckley on the left side. And he steps out of bounds, losing a yard, second down. Newell, rolling left. He's got to throw across his body, and that's picked off. That is picked off by, by number 40, Tremont Wharton. And so the, the Condors will get the football for the first time. That was a careless throw. Looked like he was, he was going to Buckley, but throw across your throwing to the other side of the field. That's not good. Go. So Sac Sacramento comes up for the first time today and Right before they get set, there's already a false start. First and 15 now for the Condors from their own 22. Here's Keenan gonna hand it off to their running back, their X-Factor, their X-Factor halfback, Leslie Meeks, I wanna say. Keenan gonna throw a left side, and that one's intercepted! Picked off, gonna take it to the house. Touchdown, OKC. That is Nelson Lawson, the cornerback, with the pick six, and that's gonna put OKC in the lead. Horrible start for Sacramento. And now here is Russell Waldron to kick the extra point. Kicks up and it's good. 7-0 Oklahoma City leads. And ball's on the tee, ready to kick off. This one will be returned from their own goal line. Taking it past the 20, up to the 26. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's see. And here is Lawrence Keenan. First pass attempt and interception, which ended up costing their team points. 
We'll see if he can turn it around and get something done here. They come up on first and 10 from their own 26 play fake. Keenan's going to throw it right side. That is incomplete along the sideline. So it'll be second to 10 for Sacramento from their own 26. Here, it, here is Keenan looking to throw. Going deep downfield. Wide open. He's going to go. Brandon Clyde up to the five. Now the six. What a play to get him in the red zone. Man, take a look at that play by Klein. He just beat the defenders and got and set him up with a great opportunity. That's the thing about Oklahoma City and their secondary. If you beat them, there's no stopping you. Well, except for that. First and goal, they're going to hand it off down the middle to Bates, and he is hit to score. Touchdown, Zach Bates. And the, and the Condors respond from that pick six thrown on their first drive. As Zach Bates gets in and puts them up. And now here is Isaac Teal to kick the extra point. Kick is up and it is good. So it's seven all. Zachary Bates, one rush, six yards. They're going to return it from their goal line. Going to be taken up to the 29. Let's go, boy. Bring it up. Daniel Newell, 7 for 8, 37 yards. His only completion was the interception, but we'll see it. That, the, that interception hardly cost them, but just don't throw another one as Buckley loses four yards that'll be second down credit Powell for the loss <clears throat> second of 14 Oklahoma City from their own 25 they're going to give it to Buckley right side. Pushes through the first set and going to be taken down to the 36. It will bring up third and three for the Bisons. Here's Newell. We're going to throw in the pocket now. Throw short right side. That's caught by Ramirez, but he only gets two there. Not enough for the first down. It'll be fourth down and one. We'll have to see again. Ramirez tries to get it, but he can't. So fourth down and one for OKC from their own 38th. They will have to punt it away. Here's Rainier. And that will float back into the end zone for a touchback. Now let's take a look at Zachary Bates last week against Chicago. And you saw his stats. He could have been Offensive Player of the Week if it wasn't for that Willis Russell performance that we saw last Sunday. Over the middle completes to Bates up to the 35. And they'll, they'll move the chains for a first down for Sacramento. Nice job to find gates open over the middle. Let's go. Eight, 
First out of 10 for Sacramento at their own 35. Keenan to hand it off to Bates down the middle. He only gets a yard on that play. And it will be second down and nine for the Condors. Here's Keenan, gonna throw it to Bates on the dump off. Gonna take it up to the 48 yard line of OKC. And it will be first down. Looked like Bates was running the the safety route. So Keenan just dumped it to him and he got the first down. Ready, ready. First down to Ted Sacramento at the 48. Gonna give it to Bates down the middle. He's walking down. Now he sprints, he gets the first down. I don't understand what happened there. <coughs> Let's see. He thinks he gets hit, but he's still walking. Then he runs for the first down, taking out defenders in the process. First out of 10 for Sacramento at the 36. Here's Bates on the left side. He runs through a brick wall down to the 30. It will be second down. Going to give it to the backup running back now. This is Leslie Meeks up to the 26. It will be first down for Sacramento. And we are going to have a false start. First out of 15 for Sacramento at the 31. He's going to throw a screen. Oh, it counts as a fumble, but he picked it up. That was Clyde, the intended receiver. He dropped the screen pass, and it counted as a fumble. He's got to do better on getting the ball there. But at least he got a yard. Second and 14 from their own 30. They're giving it to Bates down the middle. Finds a hole. Makes it up to the 25. So it'll be third down and nine for Sacramento. Here's Keenan. Play fake. Going to throw it into traffic. And it's caught by Samuel Mays. First time we've called his name today. He gets a big first down up to the 11. And it will be first and goal. No. No, sorry, not first and goal. But what a catch. First and 10 at the 11 for the Condors. Keenan. Rolling, rolling, and he will get hit from behind and sacked. That is Isaac Hunt with credit with the sack. They'll force a second and long. Second down at 16 for Sacramento at the 17. Here's Keenan. Gonna dump it off, try to dump it off to to Klein, but he could not hold on. It will be third down and 16. Keenan. Gonna throw a complete to their tight end, Noah Shea. We'll get up to the 16. That will be fourth down. And I saw what he wanted to do with Shea. But just didn't materialize. And now here is the field goal unit to try to take the lead. Isaac Teal. Kick is up and it is good. 
10 to 7, Sacramento leads. Here's the kick. That one will be returned from the two. That one will be taken up to the 27. And first down for Sacramento. Here's, here is Daniel Newell coming back out on the field. We'll see if they can put together a drive. Newell gonna throw it over the middle. That is caught by number 14, <clears throat> Jonathan Beasler. And we will see the Sacramento defense for the first time today. Elijah Claiborne, another man to watch out for. And it'll be second down and five for OKC from their own 33. Hand off down the middle to Buckley. He will not hit the hole. And it will be third down and six. Second tackle for loss by number 53. Uh, Keyshawn Powell. <clears throat> third down and six. OKC okay, for their own 32. Here's Newell rolling, rolling, going to throw it over the middle. That is complete to Stuart Hanks up to the 46. It will be first down. McCray to hit, credit the hit to number 57 there. First down and 10, OKC from their own 46 yard line. New is gonna throw, left side complete to Ramirez up to the 46. And that will be the final play of the first quarter. Sacramento leads at 10 to seven at the end of one. As this game is brought to you by Atwood Family Farms, the official blueberry of the World Football League. It'll be second down and two for OKC from their own 46. Newell's going to throw a receiver screen out right to Hanks up to the 41. That will move the chains for a first down for OKC. Now Newell is in the zone. Newell going to hand it off to Buckley. Going to hit the hole down the middle up to the 35. It will be six-yard gain, second and four, OKC. Newell in the pocket he's gonna throw a left side and that is caught by who is it number 14 Beasler to the 27 first down gonna give it to Buckley he can't get shade off the first one but the second one comes in and it will be only a yard gained <coughs> off of that Second and nine for OKC from their own 25. They're gonna give it to Buckley. He's gonna go left side and he will lose <coughs> a few yards. Back to the 26. <coughs> I saw what they were trying to do there, but four got <coughs> there are four guys that could have gotten him there. Third down, <coughs> third down and ten for OKC from the 26. Looks like they have Whitney in motion. They're gonna throw it over the middle to Beasler, and he will only make it to the 23 on that mesh route, and it will be fourth down and six. So saw where Beasler was gonna go. And that was a good read, but <clears throat> couldn't get the first down. Hey, 
And now here is Russell Waldron for the extra point. Kick is up and good. So Oklahoma City is going to tie this game 10 all. And here is the kickoff. This one will be returned from their own goal line. Going to be brought up to the 30. Let's go, baby. Let's and go. Sacramento will be there. And now here is Zachary Bates, the running back. Today he has six rushes for 29 yards. And he's been in the end zone. I think production could go up for him on this drive. Here's Keenan going to throw a receiver screen out left to, who was that, 82 Samuel Mays. He didn't lose yards or gain yards. It's, they went for no gain. <clears throat> And I also want to credit the tackle to Douglas McAllister. Second down and 10, Sacramento at their own 29. Here's Keaton in the pocket. Now he's going to run through the hole, gets going to slide down to the 38, just short of the first. It'll be third down and two. And I think Oklahoma City is going to bring some pressure here. They're going to give it to Bates, and he gets a yard, but he can't get more. And it will be short of the lines again. It will be fourth down and itches. Fourth down inches. They will punt it away here on fourth down. And that's going to go sail back into the end zone for a touchback. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And now we have the Bisons coming back out. They did good sustaining a drive on their last drive. So they come up first and ten. And we have a flinch on the offensive line. First and 15, Oklahoma City. They're going to give it to Buckley down the middle, and he will go for no gain. Second down. Newell in the pocket now rolling, and he is going to go down for a sack. That is Allen Randolph with the sack. And that will bring up third and 23. I knew that Randolph was getting loose there. I, To be honest, I, I thought that the pressure looked like it was breaking. So third down and 23 for, for Newell. Play fake. Newell's going to throw. He's going to throw it deep left side, and that will fall incomplete. Well defended by... Who was that? Is there a 22 on the... Oh, that says 28, not 22. Credit that incompletion to John Beck. Fourth down at 23. Here is the punter on to boot this one away. He'll sail to the 35. Let's go. Let's do we'll be returned to the 40. And the Condors will get a first down. As Keenan comes back out on the field. So far I like his performance. 
First down and 10 for Sacramento from their own 40. Keenan looking to throw. He's going to throw a left side, and that is complete to their X Factor receiver, Kelvin Jacobs. I think that's the first time we've called his name today. They're going to give it to Bates down the middle, and Bates will only get up to the 43, and Bates is going to be injured. So he's down and injured. We'll take a break. Good news is that Bates is on the sideline. Come on, set. 60 outlaw. We ain't giving him nothing to do. Second and eight, Sacramento. Here is Keenan. Going to throw it over the middle. That is caught by number 82, Samuel Mays. Up to the 41. Here's Keenan, over the middle, completes to to Noah Sh to Shea up to the 30. And that was a good play to get the the nice yards needed for the first down. First down and 10, Sacramento from their own 30. Here's Keenan. Play fake. Pressure comes and down he goes for the sack. That is Deshaun Wheeler, the defensive end. And so that'll bring up second and 19. Let's see that again. Who was... The right tackle should have had him. So it'll be second and 19 for Sacramento. Keenan gonna throw it over the middle, complete to Klein up to the 30, and that will be third down and 11. Here's Keenan gonna set up a screen to Meeks. Meeks is gonna get a block and get a first down, still on his feet and body slammed down to the 12-yard line. Nice run by Meeks, filling in for the injured Zachary Bates. I think he's going to be out this drive. First down and 10 for Sacramento from the 12. Here's the stat, they're gonna give it to Meeks. Meeks avoids the big hitters as he makes, he gets eight up to the four. Originally I thought it was gonna be nothing, but it ended up turning into something. Second and two, Sacramento at the four. Big hitters don't get him, Meeks! And did he score? No, he was just short down to the one. First and goal, Sacramento. Toss to Meeks. Gets a block, and he scores! Touchdown, Sacramento! Leslie Meeks into for the score. And the Condors take the lead again. 17 to 10. Actually, 16 to 10 now. But it will be 17 to 10 soon. And now here is the kicker, Isaac Teal. Kick is up and it is good. 17 to 10, Sacramento leads. And now looking at the scoring summary, I couldn't catch it in time. So here is the kickoff. This will be returned from just inside the five, take it past the 20 and up to the 29. We'll see how OKC does now.
First down and 10 for Oklahoma City at their own 29. Newell taking the snap, going to hand off to Buckley down the middle. He finds a hold, makes it up to the 43. 14-yard carry for Buckley. And that will move the chains for a first down. First down, Oklahoma City at the road, 43. Newell. Buckley kick will lose a few yards up back to the 42. Credit Montgomery. Uh, Keldon Montgomery with the tackle there. Second and 11 for Sacramento and a jump on the line that will be So they're calling a neutral zone infraction against Damian Wooden. I think that's his name Second down and six for Oklahoma City at their old 47. Newell turned it off to Buckley, and he will make it to the 49. And it will be third down and four for Oklahoma City. Newell over the middle, completes to Ramirez up to the 49, and that will not be enough to move the chains. It will be fourth and two. Fourth and two, they have brought on the punter, Kendall Reiner. That will be kicked out of bounds to the 21, and now Sacramento will have the ball back. Here comes Lawrence Keenan back out on the field. And Zachary Bates is still injured, first and ten. You're gonna give it to Meeks down the middle. Jukes and gets a first down up to the 32, 11 yards. First down and 10 for Sacramento from their own 32 yard line. Here's Keenan looking to throw. Has time in the pocket. Now he's going to take off and roll with it. Slides down to the 45. And it will. we have now reached the two minute warning where the Condors are driving. And we come out of there quickly. First down and 10 at their own 45. Here's Keenan looking to throw. Has time pocket throwing that right side of that is caught by by Klein out to the out to midfield. They're give it to Meeks. Makes men miss going up to the 36. That is 14 yards for Meeks on that play. And we want to tell you that the World Football League is brought to you by EA Sports. It's in the game. First out of 10, Sacramento from the 36. Here's Kane going to set up a screen to Meeks, trying to get outside. And a timeout will be called by Sacramento with 101 to go in the half. On the 
second and eight for Sacramento at the 35. Here's Keaton throwing it right side, and that is caught by the tight end, Shea. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And second timeout by Sacramento will be called. Ready, ready. First down of 10, Sacramento at the 22. Keenan over the middle complete to Brad Clyde up to the 13. It will be second down. Second and two for the Condors at the 13. They're going to throw it left side, and that's caught by Shea up to the 11. And he gains a first down and a timeout. Final one will be called by Sacramento. How much time is remaining in the half? 15 seconds. 15 seconds left in the half. First and 10 at the 11. Here's Keenan looking to throw a rolling. Right side, that is caught by Klein. And it will be second and four as he steps out of bounds. Clock stopped at 10 seconds. Second down at 4-4, the Condors at the 5. Here is Keenan in the pocket, throwing end zone. Touchdown, Sacramento. That is Kelvin Jacobs to extend the Condors lead by 23-10 to 10 before halftime. That was a nice play by Jacobs there. And now here is the kicker, Isaac Teal for the extra point, kick is up and good. So the score is now 24 to 10, Sacramento. And here is the kick. That one will be taken from the goal line. It will be brought up to the 27. First out of 10 for Oklahoma City as they are going to take a knee. And we will go into the half. And we want to remind you that coming up later to later tonight, Sacramento, no, sorry, Salt Lake City is on the road in Memphis to take on the Steamers. That will be tonight at 8.20, and then tomorrow night, the Marshals are taking on the Beats in a Monday night football game. Tomorrow night at 8.30 or 8.15, I want to say, here on the World Football League YouTube channel. And I'll see you for the second half. Ready to go for the second half. This one will be returned from their own goal line and take it up to the 25. Okay, 
And here comes Leslie Meeks back up, back out on the field. He's had six rushes for 40 yards. He's busted a few big ones so far in the game. It will be first down and 10 for the Condors from their own 25. Here's the snap handoff down the middle to Zachary Bates. Gonna take it up to the 20 to the to the 39. Man, Zachary Bates. He is that is his first snap back, and he busts a big play. First down and 10 for the Condors at their own 39. Here's Bates going to get find a hole. And Bates is another big one up to the 49. Gets a first down. And he is in the zone. And he should be. First down and 10 for the Condors at the 49. Quick drop back. Going to throw a complete to Jacobs up to the 30. And he will gain a first down. First down and 10 for Sacramento at the 30. They're going to give it to Bates again, and he will get dragged down for no gain. Back to the 30. And they have brought in Leslie Meeks in that tailback. They're going to throw it complete to, to Klein up to the 23, and it will be third down. And Keenan has thrown 21 straight completions. That's a new milestone for him. Here we go, here we go. 90, Wolf. So it'll be third down and three for Sacramento. That one is complete out to Kelvin Jacobs. That will move the chains for a first down. So here's the stat. Coming into this game, Sacramento was 28 points clear of the rest of the league. They will be 42 points clear as they hand it off to Bates. 42 points clear as of right now. And of the second place team, which is London. Keenan's going to throw that one complete to Shea up to the 6. 23rd consecutive completion. I didn't even notice that, that until they had the graphic there. Well, the 21st, the 21st completion. Keenan's going to throw it. Caught. And it scores! Touchdown for Brad Klein. So Klein gets in to score and takes a and extends their lead. So as of now. They would be, they're in first now, they would be 49 extra points clear of Sacramento. To put that into perspective, they would have a point differential of 70. London has 21. So that's a lot. 
This one will be a return out to the 25. Come on now, let's go. 23 yards per return for Oklahoma for Oklahoma City. So Newell in the offense will get their first chance in this second half. They gotta put together a drive here to try to come back. First down and 10 for OKC. Here's Newell gonna throw it left side. Complete to Buckley. He's trying to get past, he gets down to the 28. And it will be second down for OKC. Here's Newell, gonna throw. Right side, and that is caught by Ramirez to the 34. Come on, set. Ten, two, Third down and one, OKC. Two. They're going to throw a receiver screen out left to Hanks, but he can't get the first down. In fact, he loses two yards, and let's credit that tackle to number 28, John Beck. And fourth down and three at their own 32. They will have to punt it away. That one will be taken from the 15 and taken up to the 28. And now Sacramento will get the ball back. Leslie Meeks, who hasn't got a touch this second half, but the team has been doing good. They got themselves a great running back core. I think one of the best in the league. Keenan going to throw it out left side complete to Hurst up to the 31. Second out at seven for the Condors from their own 31. A throw it over the middle, and that is hauled in by Klein up to the 40. And that is completion, that is consecutive completion number 26 for Keenan. First down and 10 Let's for go, Sacramento at the 40. Let's go, D, tighten up. Ready, ready. They're going to throw a bubble screen out to Klein, and he will get to the 39. That Let's doesn't count as a pass. So we're still at 26 consecutive completions for Lawrence Keenan. Second out at 11 for Sacramento from their own 29. Here's Keenan. Over the middle to Klein. Fumbles the football. It's recovered by OKC. And so the Bisons will get the ball back at the 47-yard line. That still counts as a completion to Keenan. And yep, that's definitely a fumble. First out of 10 for OKC from the 47. They're going to give it to Buckley down the middle. He will make it to the 49. And lose a couple yards on that one. Credit the tackle there to Imani Hall, the defensive tackle. Let's go now. Eight, three. 
Second to 12 for OKC from the 49. Here's Newell. Gonna throw it right side, completes to the tight end, Ramirez. Up to the 49. Excuse me, that's not Ramirez, that is Richardson, the backup tight end. Newell floating it deep downfield. And tipped on the head and it's picked off. And he will take it down to the 30. That is Tavon Page with the interception. Which will bring it out to the 30 and a first down for Sacramento. It was off his head and then he hauled it in for the for the pick. And Zachary Bates back on the field. 12 rushes for 65 yards. Got it. First down for Check the Condors at their own 30. Keenan takes the snap looking to throw. And he's going to tuck it down and run. And he will take it up to the 39. Nine yards on that run. It will be second in inches. Keenan takes the snap, play fakes to the running back. He's going to tuck it and run it again. And he gets a first down to the 42, three-yard run. First down to 10 for Sacramento. Play fake Keenan. Going to throw it right side, and that is caught on the sideline by Shea. And he gets a first down up to the 35. And on the consecutive completions to 28. And that was a great play by Noah Shea. On the ready. First down at 10 at the 35. Going to give it to Bates. A's trying to push for the first down. He gets eight yards. Up to the 27, it'll be second down and one. They will hit it off down the middle to Bates. First down and more up to the 19. That will be an eight-yard pickup, I want to say. And it, it will move the chains again for a first down. First out of 10 for Sacramento at the 19. They're going to give it down the middle to to Bates, sorry. It will be second to died. Here's Keenan going to throw it right side and hauled in by Meeks up to the 15. Third down, Sacramento at the, at the 15. Here's Keenan going to throw it again. Now he's going to take it down and run with it. All the way down to the four. First and goal for Sacramento. He's been good on his feet too. Got six rushes for 42 yards. First and goal for the Condors at the four-yard line. And give it to Bates down the middle. He goes right side. First tackle misses. Second tackle gets him down to the two. It will be second and goal. It looks like that Oklahoma City is going to load up that right side. Quick drop back. And he will get sacked on that one by... Who was that? 55. Calvin O'Neill, the, the outside linebacker on the blitz. It will be third and goal. Oh, 
They come up third and goal at the seven. Keenan gonna throw it to the running back Bates. It's caught, he will get down to the six. So Lawson will be there on the tackle. And here is the field goal unit on the field. Isaac Teal, kick is up and good. 34 to 10, Sacramento. That will be down to the 26. It will be first down and 10 for Oklahoma City. Here comes Daniel Newell back out here. He's thrown for only 93 yards. He's thrown two picks. He's got to clean it up here. First down OKC at the 26. Play fake. Newell rolling. Under pressure, and down he goes with the sack. The first sack by Powell in the game. That is... Where is he? 53? Kishad Powell. He's had a couple tackle for losses. For, but this is a 10-yard loss. Second and 20 for Oklahoma City. Newell's going to throw. He's going to do a touch pass left side of that is incomplete. The third quarter hasn't ended yet as there's still a tick on the clock. Newell going to lob it up and it's caught. And that ends the third quarter where the Bisons trail it 10 to 34 and the, the, the WFL is brought to you by Madden NFL 20 the official video game of the World Football League here is Newell going to throw it right side that is caught by Ramirez the tight end up to the 47 he gains 4 on that one that's like a takeaway Sacramento is the best team in the league in terms of takeaways. They've had only two today. Which is good. Getting getting any takeaways is a good day on the job. And this will be a caught by Ramirez up to the 44 and gains a first down. We'll see if Oklahoma City can come back from 24 down in the fourth. They're going to throw it incomplete. That was defended so fast I didn't see who it was or who it was thrown to. Second to Ted. Newell right side completes to Ramirez. He fumbles the ball out of bounds, but it's out of bounds. So they'll retain possession from, from I think that went forward when he fumbled. Actually, I don't think that was a fumble. It might have been a fumble after he stepped out of bounds. 39 for, for the Bisons. They're going to give it to Buckley, and that's not how you come back from a game. Third tackle of the day for that man, Randolph. If you're trying to come back... You can't do that. So they'll have to go for it on fourth down. They gotta get nine yards. Newell gonna lob it up. 
and it's caught it's caught by Carrington up to the 11 what a catch let's look at that take a look at Willis Carrington jumping jumping up full extension to make the play first down to 10 Oklahoma City at the 11 they're gonna give it to Buckley and he will get he will get down immediately immediately tackled by J Justice Slate wait did I say Justice Slate I meant Chester Slate I was thinking of the Brooklyn player who got a uh, WFL Defensive Player of the Week last week. Ready, ready. 60 out Second out of 12 for OKC at the 12. <laughs> Newell. Lops it up. And it's caught along the sideline at the 6 by... I didn't quite catch a glimpse, a glimpse of his number. Third down and 5. Newell. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Throwing under pressure, it's caught at the one, he didn't get in. That was caught by Rob Farwell. First reception of the game. And it'll be first and goal. And we'll credit the touchdown saving tackle to Dion Cecil. First and goal for Oklahoma City at the one. They're give it to their backup running back Larry Cleveland. He'll lose three on that one. And it will be second and goal. Tackle for loss was by Davon McNeil. Second to goal for Oklahoma City at the three. They give it to Buckley. He can't get through the wall of defenders. And it will be third and goal. Second tackle for loss for number four. I think that's McNeil again. No, sorry, that's Damian Wooden. Third and goal for Oklahoma City at the six. They can't hand it off here. Newell to throw. Right side completes to to Lendell Gooden. But he will step out just short of the goal line. Fourth and two. They're going to send Buckley out into motion. Clock running. Here's Newell. Going to throw it. End zone! Touchdown, OKC! KC Buckley in the zone now. As he gets his first touchdown of the game. That was a nice play by, by Buckley. Ooh, that's close. Did he get in? We'll see for the pylon camp. He did get in, but the step out of bounds, I think they might go to VAR to check it out. And we are going to go to the VAR to see if this was a touchdown. If it's not a touchdown, then it's Sacramento's ball from the two. Receiver, that's where the receiver had possession. And I think we're going to have a good touchdown. And after review, the rolling of the field stands. Touchdown, OKC. Two-point attempt now. They're going to give it to Buckley, and he will not get there. So, is it too early to go for the onside kick since they're down by 18?
scoring summary was 16 plays for over 70 yards. I saw what they were trying to do there, but that didn't work. And here's the kick. And Brad Klein is back out on the field. So far, he's, he's been a good receiver despite that fumble. They're going to immediately throw it, and that was almost intercepted. Actually... The streak is over at 30, as that is caught by Klein. Passing offense for Sacramento, their season ranked is 20. Well, that's plus the rest of the teams that we didn't relocate. They will head it off down the middle to, who was that, Bates up to the 45. So yeah, the streak for for completions is over for Lawrence Keenan at 30. Keenan is in the pocket. He's trying to get a lane. He can't. And that he will be sacked by... Who was that? Reinhardt. He was sacked by Scott Reinhardt, the defensive end. Forced a four yard loss there. Third down and seven for Sacramento. They need this one to save the clock. Keenan. Gonna throw it along the sideline and that will be incomplete. Oh, actually, Keenan actually threw 29 consecutive completions after that first pass interception. So he's had himself a, he's had himself a game. I'll go out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! And so the Bisons will have another chance left. They got eight minutes left. They have. They're tr they trail by 18, so they got to get three touchdowns if they want a chance at winning. Rolling. Going to throw it complete to Buckley at the 22. It'll be second down at eight. And we are going to have a flag. And a false start is going to be called against the the guard. Second and 13. Here is Newell. Going to throw it incomplete. Pass was almost intercepted. So they need to get com they need to convert here. Third and 13. Here's Newell. Going to set a screen to Buckley, and he will lose a couple yards. Tenth tackle for loss this season by number 57, Harvey Travis, the middle linebacker. Fourth down to 14 for OKC. They will have to put it away. And Sacramento is going to get the ball back there. That one will be taken down to the 31. So Oklahoma City only had about a minute, 12 seconds with the ball before punting it away. Lawrence Keenan back up out on the field. He's thrown over 90% of his passes. They will head it off to Bates trying to push through. He will make it to the 34. 
Second down and seven. Sacramento's already running clock. They're gonna throw a screen out left to Klein and he will get to the 35. It will be third down and six for the Condors. All out blitz gonna give it to Klein for the first down up to the 49. Klein has 12 receptions for 151 yards. And I think he's gotten in to the end zone once in the game. First down for Sacramento. They're, they're going to run some clock down. Throw a wide receiver screen out to Klein. And I think that counts as a rush that loses two yards. I think that was the bubble screen. Second and 12, play fake. Keenan, he's going to try to roll and get sacked by Scott Reinhardt again for his second sack of the game, and it will bring up third down. Third down and 17 for the Condors at their own 42. Play fake. Caden's going to throw it left side complete to Shea up to the 42. He will not get the first down, but it will be fourth down and one. So will the offense stay on the field and run a play? It might be a risk. So they're going to go for a 58-yard uh, attempt kick is on its way, and that will land short. And so OKC will get the ball from the 49. So that means that was a 59-yard attempt. Good effort, but in an indoor stadium like this, you're not going to get a you're not going to get good height on that. And here comes Daniel Newell back on, out on the field. 30 for 36. So far he's turned this game. He's turned this team around in the fourth quarter. His receivers are starting to play around him. So they're going to throw this one complete out to... I didn't see the, the number that well. Second and five for the Bisons at the 46. Here's the snap. Newell going to throw it short. Completes to Ramirez. Trying to get the first down. And hands were caught in the face mask. Kick up the flags. So it's against Tremont Wharton. That, that will cost his team valuable yards. First out of 10 for the Bisons at the 28. Newell going to throw it. Right side and that is called in by Whitney. First Leonard Whitney, first time we've called his name today. First down for OKC at the 15. We're going to give it to Buckley on the right side. And he will, I think he got a yard there. We got three yards as we now reach the two-minute warning. Now they need to score 18 points in two minutes. That's going to be hard. 
obviously second down and seven for the Bisons and he will just throw it away third down and seven for the Bisons at the 12 Newell's gonna throw end zone incomplete Looked like that was intended for Whitney. Look at Tavon Page. Initially thought it was going to be a touchdown, but Page just smacked it out of his hands before he could get possession. So it will be fourth down and seven. They will need to they need to play right here. At least get a first down or score. They're going to go end zone again. And it's caught for the touchdown. That is Jonathan Beasler. That is his first touchdown of the day. Let's see that. Oh, that is going to be close. Let's see. Jonathan Beasler. 22 yards. And they are not going to go review it. This will stand as a touchdown. The extra point is up and good. So, OKC trails by 17. So what they will need to do Go for the onside kick here and try to they gotta try to get this one. And Sacramento recovers the onside kick. And here's Lawrence Keenan back out on the field. His team's 32. He's 32 for 37 throwing the ball. He's been connecting well. He's thrown for some good passing. Keenan going to throw it again. Throwing it short to the eligible lineman, Perry Robbins. And the timeout will be called by OKC. They're going to throw a receiver screen out to Jacobs. Second timeout called by the Bisons. So OKC can only stop the clock once more. Here's the snap. Handoff down the middle to Bates. And he gains a first down up to the 29. Oklahoma City stopped the clock for the last time. And so coming up on first and ten, they got 33, 133 left in the game. They're going to give it to Bates down the middle, stays on his feet, and he will get four, take it down at the 25. They will run the clock down to 58. They'll snap the ball at 50, going to throw a bubble screen out to Klein. And he will lose a few yards. So, I think it might be mathematically impossible now, unless Sacramento does something stupid. But we'll say we'll call this a done game. The clock's running down. Sacramento is going to come into OKC and get the road divisional win. 34 to 23. Sacramento will go to 4 and 1. And Oklahoma City will go to 1 and 5. As you see the pictures from the game. So there go the Condors celebrating their locker room.
And here is the road ahead before we sign off. The road ahead for the Condors, they will be in week nine, they will be at, back home on Saturday to take on the Aviators. And for the Bisons, they will be, they will actually be back here Thursday night football to host divisional rival, the Lumberjacks. And so, thank you for watching this game. Please subscribe to the channel. And turn on notifications to get notified when we go live. And don't forget to tune in later today as Salt Lake City will take on Memphis for Sunday night football at 8.20 tonight. At 8.15 Monday night, San Antonio will take on Brooklyn. From OKC, I'm, I'm Preston Vargas saying so long.